Good morning. How are you today? I have some special treats for you. A very nice young man named Austin made some steel drum music just for this freaky session. I think he's on to something. It's a very interesting combination of music, relaxation, and freaky. And I'd like you to hear it. Can you start to hear it? Yes. Very good. as calm as possible. Ricky is a placebo effect healing of the mind. You feel the energy coming from me, and you choose to allow your mind to wander. And in opening up your mind, your body relaxes. You enter a trance-like state. And your body is able to slow its breathing, slow the rhythms of the body, calm the mind, calm the spirit, and healing. This is what you want. And my name is Dr. Andrew Michaels. And I am here to help you. Let's begin. I have another special treat. Besides the music from Austin, and you can see his YouTube channel links below, and I suggest you subscribe and visit him for some interesting ideas. He doesn't look at the world the same way I do, and probably the same way you do, and it's his unique look at the world that makes him interesting and exciting. And worth checking out. Something came my way this week. A wonderful artist. He identifies as trans. So saying he identifies as trans is probably the wrong thing to say. But I'm learning. He made this silly little art piece for me. What's that look like? And I was so moved by this. He framed it and everything. He, you know, to do, but I want to make something clear. This was an act of kindness from a very kind person and a very talented person. I don't care if he's a Republican or a Democrat, a Catholic or a Protestant or an atheist. I don't care if he's a he or a she or he's trans or something in the middle. I don't care. 
Maybe I don't say everything right. Maybe I don't convey all my ideas right. But you do not repay kindness with evil. And this person was kind. could all learn to be kind in the world. A little more kindness helps. And his name escapes me, I'll put it below, but it's Rat King 690, I think. And he's my friend on Reddit. He visits me on the ASMR Reddit. He... Okay, I'm not the best. And I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. But I care. And I do care. And I have friends and they get inside my heart. And I keep them there. And the Rat King is my friend. And you are my friend. And you. And you. And you. And it doesn't matter if we're different. In fact, we already know we're all different. None of us are alike. Each and every one of us is different. us, in my mind, a human being, something more than the sum of our parts. If you believe in anything, you must believe that it is our unique characteristics, person to person. The uniqueness that actually brings us together. Recognizing how different each and every one of us is, is how we recognize the differences in ourselves. The imperfections in ourselves. Our shortcomings. Our prejudice our racism, and our hatreds. We can't recognize these things unless we see ourselves projecting it onto others and having that same mirror, mirror projected back at us. This is how we recognize these things. This is how we heal from these things. There can be no healing unless the body calms down. Your rhythms, your heart rate slow. Your brain becomes placid and anxiety free. Your spirit calms the mind, calms the heart, calms the body. You become one, not divisive. Things that divide, things that are divisive, harm you. You must come together, mind, body, spirit. To heal thyself, physician, 
I have talked to many people who are chronic pain sufferers, people with fibromyalgia, for example. And the calming words, calming movements of ASMR help them momentarily forget the pain. The pain recedes because they quit dwelling on it. They quit being so self-absorbed with it. Pain is the body's reaction telling you something's wrong. Chronic pain puts a person in a constant state of anxiety, of anguish, frustration. They want to flight or fight. It makes them sometimes angry. It makes them feel emotions that are negative at times. And it hurts them. It hurts their ability to calm themselves down, to relax, to sleep. And you need your sleep. I know you need your sleep. So as I stay calm, talk to you, reach out to you, pull those negative energies from you as I pull these painful things from you know in your heart I mean well know in your heart you must relax you must calm your mind you must calm your spirit you must find peace in yourself and it's in there it's in there the peace is inside you the kingdom of God is in all of us not some of us not those that are chosen all of us sometimes I think we forget that it's not there it's not there it's not in a building made of brick and mortar. It's inside you. Everything that makes you special, all the generations before you, all the people that led up to you right now is inside you. They traveled through time and space to make you happen. And that's a grand story of creation. I didn't say creation in a biblical sense. I said a grand story of creating you. You are a creation. All the people from your parents, grandparents, and before, all the trials, tribulations, all the events they live through, and you are here today. A unique creation, a beautiful human being, and I do mean beautiful. All creatures under heaven and earth are beautiful, each in their own way, and each should be accepted for their own gifts, their own talents, for their actions. as well as their words. I chose a long time ago to not judge and to help. And I found that path to be a dangerous one. There are many thorns, many burdens, 
many dangers in helping others. The peace I feel in my heart comes from knowing I did well. I worked hard. I did well. And you can have these things in your heart as well. You can lift the indoctrination of the men and women around you. And you can find your own inner peace. You can find your own journey in this world. Many times the atheist speaks more wisdom than the heretic. Do not turn away from your brothers and sisters just because they are different. Wisdom and knowledge will free you from the things in life that hold you down. And you will find peace as you open your mind, as you explore and read and study, your mind will become at peace. Your mind is a tool, a muscle that must be exercised. And as you open your mind and learn and work through problems, find your worldview, find your peace in this life, find your path to your own personal journey. And it's your journey, not mine. I speak eloquently sometimes of my faith and my beliefs, and I worry sometimes I put too much on you, that you must find your own path. You must refuse the indoctrination of those around you that would crush your spirit. Think for yourself. Be brave, be strong, be who you are. You are kind, you are unique, and people tell you you're not. Then hold a mirror up to them. Ask them, what on you is like me? What is different on you than is on me? Those who judge you, let them be judged. Those who do harm to you will have harm done to them as you go through life. If you do evil, it will come back to haunt you time and again. But if you do good works, even the evilest person can't harm you. They will have no hold over you. Do not allow others to control you. Any more than you let me frame your spiritual views. Seek them out for yourself. Know your world and know your place in it. Find your own destiny. And these aren't just hollow words. The minute I stopped listening to other people and started thinking for myself, my life opened up. My life 
my life was spiritual, grounded in logic, grounded in science. And my religion opened my mind to these things, not closed my mind to it. I thought, if there is, if there is anything to this creation, then my God, is it great. My God, is this grand. A universe that stretches off infinitely. A creation we can hardly measure in time and space. A planet so big, but when we go out into outer space and look back down on it, it's a tiny speck in a sea of darkness. It didn't close my eyes to religion. It opened my mind to the possibilities of creation. And with those possibilities, my horizons opened up. I realized we waste too much energy and time on divisiveness, on prejudices, on hatreds, and on silly racisms, when we're all genetically the same. And to take it a step further, we're all genetically part of this planet. These are our brothers and sisters we live amongst, not enemies, not devils and demons. The devils and demons are somewhere else. Here, on this planet, are our brothers and sisters, and we need to recognize that. We need to embrace it. It doesn't mean you let people take advantage of you. Their rights stop at your nose, and your rights stop at theirs. And if you live a life accordingly, with kindness, justice, follow the laws of the land, you'll pretty much be okay. You really don't have to fear a lot. And there's not a lot of conspiracies out there you have to worry about. Because it's going to be okay. It's going to be alright. I went to visit my mother. She's, she was born in 1942. She is, in June, going to be 77 years old. And my father's still alive, too. They were both born in 1942, childhood sweethearts, married and are still around together at 50-something years of marriage. Crazy kids. They run around more now than they did 30 years ago. They're just a couple of silly kids. And they're living their life. And my mother handed me, a 77-year-old woman, handed me a silly movie from Monty Python, The Life of Brian. And I just kind of giggled and laughed, and I said, oh, I'll watch that, I like that movie. But I didn't have a copy of it. And she, somehow it got on the subject of the end times, like, oh, they preach about the end times in this movie. Maybe somebody made a joke, because it was about, The Life of Brian's about an alternate historical version of the story of Jesus and she said Mike I'm 76 years old that's why I had to tell you how old she is so I have a reference I'm 76 years old and it's a little girl they tell me oh the end's coming the end's coming the end's coming and I'm still here my mom was more religious than anybody I ever met she had, her idea of a good time was old time religion with a bible in each hand and she just looked right at me and said, I'm 76 years old. And they've been telling me since I was a little girl, before I could barely walk, oh, it's the end, it's the end, it's the end. And I'm still here. And I want all of you to think about that. Everybody acts like they know everything they want to, get you thinking about fear and hatred and scare you but in reality they don't know jack shit about anything 
And it's through this fear mongering that they control you, that they divide you, that they get you to fear others. I'm not asking you to accept people who are different because of their nationality and their sexuality or their political party. I'm only asking you to think for yourself. I make mistakes every day. That's what makes me human. But what also makes me human is I have two hands and a brain and I can think for myself and I can go out and I can correct those mistakes. I can correct my errors. I can apologize for my stupidity. And I can tell somebody who sent me a nice gift, I'm sorry if I used the wrong pronoun. And it's no skin off my teeth. Not a bit. And it doesn't hurt to be polite and be kind. So if you're wondering why I got on this tangent, <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'm tired of it all. Maybe I'm tired of seeing people hurting each other. And I see it from all sides. And if I can give some beauty back into the world, if I can bring a little bit of love into the world, if I can bring a little bit of peace into the world, maybe I can make this place a little bit better for my children. And isn't that what we're supposed to do? At least it matters to me. It matters to me to help my children. And I give them everything. And I have no regrets. Because when I do have regrets, I try to fix them. If I can't fix them, then it was never meant to be. And I move on. And it's a lot easier to live life not carrying things around. I hope I helped you today. I know we didn't do. of people out there that just want to hurt because they have so much anger and pain in their heart and you've got to forget about them just for a day just for a minute just for a moment in time and you've got to look at who you are look at yourself in a mirror sometime think about how many people had to travel through the ages of time and space to put you where you are today give you a chance at life, to give you a chance to have a good life, your own life, and you've got to live it, you've got to stop what you're doing that you know isn't right, and you've got to live your life, you are the only one that can make it happen, and I know you can. And I'm happy to know you. And I'm happy to be your friend. And I will always be here for you. I will. I will, I promise. Somehow, I'll always be here. Take 
care of yourself. God bless you today. Make a small change in your life, no matter who you are, to make the world a better place. And if that means making it a better place for you first, then do it. Heal thyself, physician. Okay? And remember, until I see you again, please, have a most blessed day. Okay? Alright. Bye-bye.